Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the crossings of Oak Brook. This is Bonnie. How may I help you? Hi. I'm having a problem in my bathroom. I'm a tenant here. Okay. What apartment are you in? Seven. Apartment what? Seven, seven, C. 207, is that what apartment you're in? 207, that's the one. Is that it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, what was I thinking? And what's going on? Um, okay, so I have a, a model, like a, a rainforest in my bathtub with trees and dirt and all the animals and stuff. And um, I guess the some of the dirt was going down the drain. I didn't think it was because I leave the shower on 24-7 for the rainforest. And... Um, it got stopped up and it overflowed and it's been overflowing all night. I just woke up. And what's your name? Roy. Roy? Yep. And I'm, I don't know what to do. Some of the animals are dead. Well, then that's something you would have to take care of, Roy. Because I know you do not live in that apartment. I, I stay on the couch. But what I'm saying is my rainforest is flooded and it's flooded out onto the bathroom floor and everything and it's quite a mess. Well, here's the problem. You don't live in the apartment. Uh -huh. You're not a leaseholder. So you need to get a hold of whoever it is that you live with and have them call me here. Oh, I, I signed a lease with uh, Lysaw. He's the guy that's renting to me. What's he's, the name? His name's Lysaw. He rents out his couch. I don't have anybody by that name. What's well, his street name? I don't know his real name because... Um, I'm not going to give you that information. I'm not asking for any information. Why? Why? Why are you saying that? Well, you asked me what his name was. No, I didn't. I that. never said that. I, d I told you what his name is. And I said, I don't know his name. It's a street name. I never asked you what his name was. And I don't want to know. So okay, the apartment that you're referring to, I know for I know them. They've come in here before. They've never once mentioned somebody living on their couch. You're going to need to give me a little bit more than that. Well, he wouldn't mention it if it's against your policies or whatever. Well, then, obviously, you need to get a hold of him and have him call me here. Okay, but I mean, you're not, you don't care about this whole bathtub overflowing thing? Well, if it's overflowing, then I'm sure the apartment beneath you would be having an issue. Yeah, should I turn off the shower, you think? I would recommend it. Okay. And you said you're in apartment 207? Yeah, and there's like all these, the animals inside the rainforest are dead. Well, that's yeah. something you'll have to fix. That's not something we are going to fix. Yeah, I can we tell you're not a very com compassionate long. person. You just think like, you know, oh, lower life forms, who cares, whatever. My rainforest is ruin ruined and the animals are dead. Why do you have a rainforest in your shower anyways? In art, man. I was just trying to do something good. Rainforests are good. And the animals well, really liked it. Well, it's not something that you do in an apartment. Yeah, most people don't, but maybe I want to think differently. True. All right, well, I'll go ahead and call the apartment that's beneath you to make sure they're not having issues. Okay, I really appreciate you sitting there and yelling at me a bunch. That was great. Very professional. Well, why Good don't job. you have the person that lives in the apartment call me and let me know that there's an issue? And I'm more than happy to send my guys up to fix whatever the clog or issue is. Okay, we're going to rebuild the rainforest, you know. We're not just going to not have a rainforest. You guys pay for the water here, right? No, you guys do. Oh, fuck. Whatever. I mean, we can afford it. We're making so much money from meth. We can afford anything. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Make more than you do. Like, more than you make all week. That's what we make in a day. I'm glad to hear that. Good for you. Yeah, I can tell you're jealous, but whatever. I mean, if you're just you just want to yell at me the whole time, so I don't All care. right, well, whoever you live with, why don't you have them call me so I can get a maintenance request put in? Oh, what's his name, by the way? Whose name? The person that I live with. I'm not going to give you that information. You should know the person's name that you live with. I just call him Lysaw. Well, I can't help you with that. I don't really care what his name is. I just wanted to hear you blow up at me again. Okay. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 514 for November 28th, 2018. This one's brought to you by Lion X, Funor, Cody No Name, Todd L, and Buster Casey. Thanks, you guys, for supporting the show and sponsoring the show and 
keeping the shows happening, even though I haven't done one in like, what, four days now? I mean, except for yesterday, I did a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. I did one of those yesterday, if you want to go listen to that. It's a bunch of oil change calls from back in 2015. You know, back when the show was still funny. So there's a bunch of good stuff in that episode if you want to go listen to it. I think that was the 24th episode of Mr. Dobelina now. And we're almost up to the year anniversary of that show. If you're sick of sitting through all my intros and stuff on this show, you should stop listening and go listen to Mr. Dobelina instead. It's much more tolerable, shorter intros, no voicemails. It's pretty much the perfect show. I highly recommend it. Speaking of Buster Casey, I think I was, wasn't I, before I went off about Mr. Dabalina? Yeah, he's one of the sponsors today. Uh, I was on his show on Sunday, or not me, Carol was on his show on Sunday for a very short time, just like the last 15 minutes of the show. He had some convenience store girl doing a bunch of silly things inside the store, and he brought me in, and I got her to draw a picture of a house on fire and put it on the ATM inside the store. And then she sent us pictures of it, so uh, I don't know where you can see those pictures. I'm sure he's put it on social media somewhere. I think I saw it on his Mixler account. So you should visit his Mixler account, mixler.com slash buster underscore Casey. And yep, there it is. And uh, then go to the show reel. The show is called Sunday Licks. I don't know why that's weird. And uh, it's the November 25th show. And just skip through the whole thing until the very end. That's where I'm at. Who cares about the rest of it, right? Nobody wants to listen to him and Devin. Oh, but they were doing more uh, rap battles, I think, weren't they? With uh, one of the Super Phone Brothers guys. So yeah, it was a fun show. I listened to the whole thing live while I played GTA. In fact, you get to hear the exact moment where my mattress got stolen off of my porch because I noticed it's gone on the security camera. And I'm like, holy shit, if you've been following all of that craziness on my Facebook. So I'll have a link in the show notes if you want to go listen to that. Also, don't forget to visit youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. There's a brand new Calls of Mass Confusion video out every single day. Oh, wait, no, there's not. Calls of Mass Confusion has been canceled forever. I forgot. So, yeah, don't ever go to youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck again, unless you want to listen to our Pranksgiving show that I did with Giad and Carlito and Dwight and Carol. I think I linked that in the last show. I'm sure I did, actually. But uh, I'll go ahead and link it in today's show again, just in case. Wait, no, never mind. It's gone. It's been taken down. No more Pranksgiving show for you guys. Hopefully he'll put that back up again eventually. He's probably doing some edits on it or something. Damn it, Giad. One last thing before we get started, and hopefully I get the show posted tonight, so this actually uh, means something to you. But my favorite call-in show is going to be on the air tonight around 9 or 10 p.m. Pacific time. The closing time show with Mr. Biggs is supposed to be happening tonight. We'll see if it really happens. I'll be in the chat room for that. You can find links to that at askmrbiggs.com slash live. I think that's it for the announcements. Let's get started with today's show after a brief musical interlude by Henrik. Hey, no. I got an idea from a viewer on YouTube. His name is Anders J. He says, I should call up an apartment and tell them I'm building a snowman inside. And I opened up all the windows and turned the heat way down. And that's just about the stupidest idea I've ever heard. I don't think anyone's going to believe it, but I definitely want to give this a try and see if it'll work. Thanks, Anders J, for this idea that's probably going to go nowhere. So I looked around the country. I know they had like a big snowstorm in Chicago recently, I think Pennsylvania. I looked at some live webcams in Chicago, and it seems like the snow's kind of melted at this point. So I looked in other Midwestern states, and I found uh, in Minnesota, there's a lot of snow on the ground still, according to live webcams. And this town I've picked is currently 25 degrees out. The high is 26, the low is 18. Oh wait, I'm doing that wrong. Let me turn on my helicopter loop and turn on my uh, helicopter voice. The high today is 25 degrees, low is 19 degrees, 80% chance of precipitation, up to one inch of snow. We've got snow showers coming in, winds from the southeast at five to 10 miles per hour. 
This has been Steve Dave from the, the Fox News Chopper, Eye in the Sky, 100.7, the gerbil, whatever thing. I don't know. There, I did it. It's done. So I think that's a perfect place to give this one a try. By the way, I need to do more of those pranks where the neighborhood kids are riding on my car. Or not the kids, like the adults. They're coming over and writing their names in my windows or, or writing obscene things. And that's not cool. That's practically vandalism. I got to do that soon when it starts snowing more. Don't let me forget to do that this year. Or this season, I guess. I don't know if I'll get to it this month. But anyway, let's give this a try. I've got some apartments pulled up here. I don't have much hope for this one, but we're going to try. Thank you for calling. Hi, this is Julie. Hey, Julie. I'm a tenant here. Yes. And I was wondering if it's possible to maybe get the, the neighbors downstairs to turn their heat down because it keeps melting all my snow up here. Okay. And where are you? Which apartment? Uh, I'm in 207, so I get the people downstairs are 107, I think. Okay. And, and they're not even home during the day, so just like maybe during the day they could turn their heat way down. Cause the, okay, and this is at Yep. That you're, okay, yep. and um, it's so hot that your apartment well, is I've, hot? Well, no, it's not hot. My, my apartment's freezing. Um, I, I've put snow on all the floors in here. And I've got the air conditioner running and the windows open. And, you know, it's like I've got a snowman in the living room. And who is this? Uh, this, is, this is Roy. Um. So it, it's just like it's making puddles on the floor and it's, it's kind of making a mess because of them. Is it's, this a joke? <laughs> Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about this. No. It's just the thing I'm doing. It's just for this Christmas. I've always wanted to do this. So I'm just going to have snow in the house, like on all the floors instead of carpet. There's snow. Okay, and, yeah, we, and you can't do that. So no, are we, you sure you're from um, which apartment? Well, yeah, yeah, it's here, here on yeah. Avenue. Okay, but, just a minute, please. Okay, why? Where, where are you going? Thank you for holding. This is Taylor. How may I help you? Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. I don't know. Like, don't she know. put me on hold and transferred okay. me to you. I'm not sure why. Did she tell you anything? No, I just have a call on my phone. Oh, well, that's weird. Um, Yeah, so I, I'm a tenant here. Okay, what apartment? 207. Okay. And so, um, we actually lives in apartment 207 because we don't have a Roy that lives here. Oh, so she did oh. tell you something because I didn't tell you my name was Roy yet. You just told me your name was Roy. Oh, did I? Anyway, it's Tanya. Okay. So then Sonia needs to give me a call and tell me that something's wrong in her apartment. You can't make calls for her. Well, nothing's wrong. It's just that we've got snow on the floor and we're going to do that for all of December. And the downstairs apartment has their heat on, and it's making the snow melt on the floor. You can, what do you mean you have snow in your apartment? Like we've covered the, the apartment floors with snow. We have the windows open and the air conditioner on. Okay. And well, you need to not ha have snow in your apartment, and you need to close the windows and turn the AC off. You can't have snow in your apartment. No, it's just, it's just for December. It's going to be like a Christmas thing. We've got like a snowman and everything. Oh, well, we have. We've already done it, so it's too late. Well, then Sonia's going to get a lease violation. No, there's nothing in the rule book about this. You can't have snow on the floor in the apartment. It's Who says? It's going to cause water damage. No, it's, no, the water damage is being caused by the people downstairs having their heat on too high because it's coming up through the floor. So if I come over to that apartment and there's windows open and AC on and snow on the floor and you freeze the water pipes, well, you can't tell us not to have our windows open. It's a free country. Okay. Have a nice day. All right. Whoa. Well, I think both of them were finding that hard to believe. Just as I thought, I don't think this is going to work out at all. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep trying for another dozen or so times. Thank you for calling Bridge. This is Jessica. How can I help you? Hey, Jessica. I'm a tenant here at Bridge. And I've, I've just got a question. Okay. Um, do you guys have any maybe like uh, spare air conditioning units that I could uh, use to just
just kind of cool it down even more in here? Um, not that I'm aware of. Okay. What building and unit are you in? Um, I'm in two two uh oh what is it? I'm in two uh two oh five. In what building? E. Um. Nine oh one. Okay, nine oh one. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, can I put you on hold for just a moment? Okay. All right. Yeah. It's just that. Uh, can you let them know, like whoever you're talking to? I've I've put snow all over the floors, and the people downstairs they have their heat on, so it's making my snow melt and making puddles on the floor. So I I figure if I put uh, some more air conditioning units in each room, that'll keep it cool enough. In addition to having the windows put, open. You put snow on your floors? Yeah. Yeah. Just till after Christmas. We're going to build a snowman in here. It's going to be it's going to be bizarre. I know it's it's crazy, but it's just something we've always wanted to do. Um hmm. yep. one moment. <laughs> okay. I need to come up with a better reason why I'm calling. Maybe I could say we built a snow fort inside the apartment and we've divided them up into separate Airbnb units so we can make more money over the holidays. You know, help pay for Christmas. That's a great idea. Or I could say we've got an ice rink in here now. I think that was the Trailer Boys plot, wasn't it? Didn't Ricky turn his trailer into an ice skating rink or something? Or I mean a hockey rink, because it's Canada. That's what it was. Hi, so we don't have any air conditioning units. Okay, um, it's all right. We'll figure something out. I think we're going to go to the thrift store and pick some up there, maybe. Okay, just, and just more... you have real snow in your apartment? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the floor is completely covered with it. Like, all the living room, all the kitchen, and all of the hallway. We didn't put it in the bedrooms yet because, um, I don't know, it's really cold in here. We have all the windows open to keep the snow from melting. Is there something underneath the snow? Yeah, carpet. But it, it's fine because uh, it's, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's sort of fine, but it keeps melting because of the downstairs neighbors have their heat turned way up. Like, I've been in their apartment before. They keep their heat way up. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. So you just have snow on all the carpets in your apartment? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in, in the kitchen, it's more like linoleum. But it's, um, it's, it's can not, I? It, we're, we're going to shampoo the carpets, um, you know, after after Christmas. So, you know, it'll, it'll suck up all the water and stuff. We've got a wet dry vac. Okay. Um, just one moment. Where are you going? Um, can I transfer you to my manager? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you going to tell him about all this or, or do I have to re-explain it? Um, well, she can kind of hear our conversation. Oh, okay. All right. Um, What's so just one moment. What's her name? Lisa. All right. All right. Thanks for holding. This is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. So she said you're easy. Hi. Hey. So, hi. Um. So I guess we're all a little perplexed. Um, About as what? To to. You're you're trying to build make snow in your apartment? Well, no, we've we brought in snow from outside and covered the floors okay. with it. It's like just a couple inches of snow. So it's like just kind of snow themed in here now. It's just for Christmas because we've got the Christmas tree up and we put snow on the branches and everything. Okay, you know and, that that's probably not okay, right? Well, no, <laughs> it it should be fine because we're we're gonna. I told her we're gonna get a wet dry vac. Or like a, you know, one yeah, of those. Yeah, but you, you, you could actually damage some things. No, no, as long as, like, I really think the people downstairs should turn down their, their, um, their heaters a little bit. Because we've got ours off and we have the windows open. To you keep... can't. No, it, it works. That's, we've done that... it already. Well, how about we come over and we take a peek? For, uh, Are you guys home now? Uh, yeah, but we're kind of busy right now. Like, um, can you just, can, I, I can send you a picture or something. 
Okay, but you're, what you're doing is against your, it's a lease violation. No, we checked uh, the rules and everything, and there's nothing in there about... Uh, well, the rule I sent out is you must have the windows closed right now. Because it is so cold, you very well could freeze a pipe in your apartment, which yeah. would rupture, and then it would cause a water leak. But, well, and yeah, bringing but, that much water in the apartment will damage the carpet. Well, it's not water, it's snow. And if we close the windows, that's going to be more, more of a leak. What, what you're doing is not acceptable. Well, it's just for December. It's for Christmas. Don't... Sir. Well, you're, you're being kind this of... This is not acceptable. You're being kind of a Grinch, you know, because... It's, it's, just, it's just for, like, n not even so another month. So as far month. as I know, what you have right now is your windows open. That is a lease violation and a potential hazard for the building. Yeah, so yeah. we will be coming over and taking a look. And we we'll have be the, on our way and, shortly. And Thank we you. have the air conditioner on. See, this needs to be calls of mass confusion. I need to call up apartment buildings that listeners live in and give their apartment unit numbers with this kind of a story and then just watch the managers come over and try to explain the thing about the snow. And the listener can be like, uh, okay, you're, you're stupid. You know, <laughs> like, who would do that? I didn't call you. What are you talking about? If anyone's up for filming our own personal calls of mass confusion, now that it's over forever, we can't call it that because G will sue me. But come on, th this would be brilliant. This would be like that time that me and Stacy told the apartment place that we installed the trap door and we almost got one of my listeners evicted for it because we accidentally gave his apartment number. Would you like to get evicted? Then contact me, show at snowplowshow.com. We'll set up a hilarious prank on the person that provides you shelter. What could go wrong? I'm really surprised that worked at all. So now I just have to keep doing it. I, there's no way I can stop at this point. Chateau, this is Steve. Hey, Steve. I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Sure. Um, well, I'm not a question, really. I just needed to let you know, like, we've, um, we've covered our, our apartment floors in snow, and we have all the windows open so it doesn't melt. We're just doing, like, a Christmas theme this year. So we brought in real snow from outside and, and covered the floors. And what unit are you in? I'm in 219, and is what we're going to do is we're going to build like an extra wall in, um, in the living room. We're going to divide it up with a, a, a wall of snow, like kind of like a snow fort with a door in it. You well, know, are, are you following? Obviously, you can't, you can't do any of that. Oh, no, we've already done it. I mean, we haven't done the wall yet. We've, we built like maybe half the wall. But you and, can't bring snow into the apartment. Yeah, but it's not a real wall. It's just a wall made out of snow. That's what I mean. You cannot do that. No, it, it works. It's fine. Like, we just keep the windows open, and we're actually running no, the... No, 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 no. We're running the air conditioner. No. No. Like it, no, it's, no. It's fine. We're going to bring in, like, a... No, it is not fine. But we're going we're gonna to bring in, like, a, a wet dry vac. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. You cannot do that. No, if you saw it, you, wouldn't, you would change your mind because it looks amazing. Well, I need to see it. I'm here right now. Well, I'm not inviting you over right now, but, you know, sometime, like, later, maybe in December, you should come over and look no, at it. No, no. We will be there in 24 hours. I can guarantee you we will be there tomorrow. Okay. And that's but, our right. But listen. To have 24-hour notice to look at your apartment because of what you're saying and I will be there with a maintenance man tomorrow. But listen, we've got a we've got a Christmas tree up and we put snow on it and like real snow in the living room. And it, you should just I'm see... understanding what you're saying and I'm telling you I'm giving you a 24-hour notice that we will in, we were inspecting your apartment tomorrow afternoon. For what? I already told you what we did. Um I was just going to ask uh, And we wait. need to see it. Do you have any waterproof extension cords that we could use cuz uh we found no. out the hard way. Extension cords are not allowed either. What? What? Like, we can't use extension cords? How are we supposed to plug anything in? You can't do what you're doing. And we will be there tomorrow afternoon to inspect. Well, I'm not the only person in this complex that's using an extension cord. I understand that. What, what about... But you're not using it with water. What about... Well, no, there's no water. It's snow. Snow is water. No. Snow is frozen water. Yeah, but it's snow. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. We will be there tomorrow afternoon. I'm giving you the 24-hour notice. 
Can you please we'll can you please not tomorrow. come over tomorrow because we're not finished with the wall no, yet? No, I don't care. Oh. This is our property, and you uh, we have a right to inspect. I want you to see what and it's going to look what like. You're telling me you're going to be damaging our property. No, we're not. We will be there. We're not damaging anything. It's a wall made out of snow. How's that damage? Because there's moisture in the building. I know, but it's frozen moisture, so it doesn't hurt anything. It will not be frozen it, at some point. I know. No, no, no. We'll, 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 if it gets uh, above freezing, we're, gonna, we're, we're not stupid. We've got the air conditioner on and the windows are all open. So it, it's like 25 degrees in here right now. What is, who, what, what is your name? Roy. And your last name? What building are you in? I, well, maybe I don't want to tell you because, like at this point, you're you're talking like you're talking crazy. Well, you're, you're not even in my building at two nineteen. I I I'm, I wouldn't be on the lease. I, I just uh, I just stay on the couch. But that's why I'm putting the wall up because I'm going to make my own bedroom your, just for, just for December. With, who? with Julie. But but that's why Julie I'm, doesn't even live there. That's why I'm putting the wall up, so I can have my own bedroom just Julie for Julie does not live there. Just for December. I know she doesn't live here anymore, but I stayed with the new people. Steve? Steve? Yes? What are you doing? That sounds like you're trying to hang up. No, I'm... Okay, you got quiet. I'm trying to figure out what the heck you're doing. Okay, I, I put up a wall and uh, with snow, just snow, because that's where I have my bed at. It's like a futon couch and a dresser, and I'm going to have my own room just for December. So that's why I'm putting up the wall, because usually I have to sleep on the couch in the living room. Well, you have to have an application to stay more than 14 days in one of our buildings. Oh, no, no, I've been here like three months. It's fine. No, it's not fine because I don't have an application for you. I know I don't need an application. I just pay my my rent to the to my roommates here. No, that's not how it works. Oh yes, it is. Let you ask my roommates. I've been here uh, almost no, it does not. almost four months now. What 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 are you doing right now? Are you knock? Are, is that you knocking? Yes, it is. Now you can't come in right. You can't come in right now. I'm, I'm busy. I'm naked. Steve. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm in the bed. I'm in the bathroom right now. So where's the lady that is renting this apartment? Which lady? Which one? None of your business. Which one? Well, you're the one that asked. I, I didn't know if you meant my girlfriend because she stays here too. She stays here on the couch with me, on the futon couch in the living room. And this month only, we've got our own bedroom. Steve? Steve? Did he hang up? I was getting ready to tell him I'm just a prank caller. I think he hung up on me, though. Maybe he clicked over to make a call, because I can. he's still on the line. He was knocking on the door. I was just looking on uh, 411.com, and that's the, the name that's on it is Julie. But I guess she moved out, according to Steve. Okay, I'm going to hang up because I've been on hold forever. Steve's not coming back, I don't think. But here, let's call back. This is Steve. Hey, Steve. Um, I, I'm sorry about that call before. I was just kidding around with you. I don't have snow on my floor. And who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm a local DJ at the FM radio station, and... <laughs> hey, Lamo! You just got full-on butt-slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. Slamming is what we do best. <laughs> get it? It was a joke. No, I don't. You, you don't get it? It, it, was just, it was a joke. There, I stopped him from breaking into not Julie's apartment. I'm such a nice guy. Good morning, everyone. Hey, I'm a tenant here, and um, I just needed to let you know about something. Okay. Uh, just just for December, we're going to be running an Airbnb out of our apartment. 
So we, we've got, uh, we've separated the units with uh, walls of snow. With walls of snow? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, and, uh, it's like a themed thing we're doing for December, because there's a lot of people visiting town this time of year, and we're just going to... And who, which apartment are you in? I'm in 24C. Which, which one are you in? 24, is it 24C? Okay, so obviously this is a, a prank. Yeah, it is. Who's this? Uh, my name's Roy. I'm just some prank caller from Oregon. You wouldn't believe the last guy I talked to? His name's Steve. Do you know Steve over at Chateau? Uh, no, no, but I know where Chateau is. Oh, man, he was pissed. He was, like, over there knocking on their door because I put snow all over the floors. It was hilarious. <laughs> so what are you doing, just making it around? Yeah, yeah, I'm just calling up every apartment building in the city. So if you know any other landlords, you should call them up and compare stories. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. Thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. All right. 411.com failed me again on that one. I swear it says there's a 24C at this address. Maybe it's just an empty unit or something. Moss, this is Rihanna. How can I help you? Hey, Rihanna. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here at Moss. Mm-hmm. And um, I need to let you all know that I've, uh, I've covered all of my floors in snow uh, just for the next month, just for Christmas. So my windows are going to be open. So I just, I want to make sure like none of you come by and like shut my windows. Um, let me grab our property manager really quick. Oh, okay. How come? Um, we typically just don't have, um, windows open during winter. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I just, I don't want you to open them. I don't want you to close them. Because then the snow will melt, and the people downstairs are going to be mad. Because, you know, it'll... Yeah. Well, it's, it's yeah, good. let me just probably, grab her really quick and see what like she Probably like 200 does. gallons of water in here. <laughs> yeah, let me grab her really quick. All right, thank you. Yep. You. Hi, this is Jennifer with... Hey, Jennifer. Did she tell you what I was uh, what calling about? Yeah, so you have, what, you have snow in your apartment? Yeah, yeah, we covered all of the floors and snow, like everywhere except for the bedroom and the bathroom. And we're Like just, what kind of snow? Like snow from outside. Like, uh, you know, real snow. Uh, why? Uh, just for a Christmas theme. Like we've got a Christmas tree up, and we've got real snow on the branches. And next weekend, if it snows some more, like we're kind of out of snow at this point. But we're going to bring some more in and try and build a snowman, like, inside the house. What? What unit it's, are you in? It's just for, Chris, it's just for the next month. And we're going to, we're going to uh, you know, vac no, vacu you, vacuum you it No, you can't up. do that. That'll do damage no, no, to the not, apartment. Not if we leave the windows open, because it's uh, below freezing out. As long as it doesn't warm up for the next month, we're fine. No, it, but you um, can't leave your windows open because that could cause p uh, pipes to freeze. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it would be even more damage if we shut the windows at this point because the snow would melt and there's, I don't know, a few hundred gallons of snow on the ground, on the floor. What unit do you live in? Uh, 219. 219? No, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a big deal. We've got it all figured out. You don't have to worry about it. It's fine. We'll wrap towels oh. around the pipes so they, so they don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Or we, you can't do that. And we're also leaving the water running uh, constantly in the kitchen and in the bathroom. So they, won't, they, they can't freeze. Yeah, but you... That, no, you can't do that. No, it, it's, you, that'll keep the water moving. We'll keep the hot water on. Yeah. I know it'll be pricey, well, but no, it's fine. Yeah. Um, are you home right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in here uh, just uh, raking. Oh, can I come up there? Uh, if you want, I guess. I don't know. Like, why? Okay. Well, just to check out the situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just snow on okay. the ground. It's like maybe uh, two inches of snow tops. 
Yeah, I, I just want to assess the situation. So um, I'll be up there in a second, okay? Okay, make sure you bring a coat because it is seriously below freezing in here. Like the only warm spot is in the bedroom now. Okay, well, let me come up there and check it out, okay? Okay, and you're welcome to come in the bedroom. Thanks. Wink, wink. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> she just thanked me for inviting her to my bedroom. Thank you for calling. Cummins, this is Aline. How can I help you? Hey, Aline. Uh, I'm a tenant here. And, okay. Uh, um, I just have a question. Okay. Um, do, do you happen to have a snow shovel I could borrow? I don't have one in here, but I believe that Doug has one. Oh, I, but Doug, doesn't, Doug won't talk to him anymore since the incident. My neighbor's got what one incident? on their... Oh, I don't want to talk about it, but my neighbor's got one on their porch. Do you think I could just use that one? Oh, um, on, on their uh, patio, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I can just climb over there. Oh no, I don't want you. No, I don't want you climbing on the balcony. If you fall, you it it won't be pretty. Oh, well, um, I'm so yeah. yeah don't. Hey. Is it on the patio or the balcony? Oh, uh, it's on the balcony. But in, anyway, we yeah no. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh no, I'm just we, I can use a broom, I guess. Um, we we covered the uh, the floors in our apartment with snow. Okay. And oh, what? Okay. Um, I would I would assume using yeah using a broom would probably work better. Yeah, yeah. We've we put about two inches of snow on all of the floors and in, in in the living room. And in the kitchen, and in the hallway, like just for okay, like. Okay, why did you do that? For like a kitchen, for for like a Christmas theme, you know, just. For, oh, I see what you're saying. For the next month, so we took okay. we took snow from outside and we covered all the surfaces inside with snow. Okay. And I just needed to shovel some of it, um, and and kind of spread it out, because I've got piles in the living room. And I was trying to build a snowman, okay. but I can't and I can't get it to stick. Yeah, and you don't want to do that because the heat from your apartment is going to melt that snow, and it's just going to make the carpets wet is all it's going to do. Oh, no, no, we turned off the heat, and we have the windows open now, so it's it's like below freezing. Oh, oh no, 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 you can't, no, you can't do that either. No, it, it's fine, because it, 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 won't, it won't melt, because it's below freezing in here. It's like 25 degrees right now. Right, and you can't do that because what will happen... Those are water pipes going through your apartment, oh. and what's going to happen is you're going to freeze your pipes. It's going to shut down the heat for 15 or 20 apartments. You can't do that. You have to have your heat up, and well, you can't have the windows open. Yeah. And you definitely can't have snow on the floor in your apartment. But well, we have the air conditioner on, too. Get... Yeah, no, you can't do that, but, no. But we're also running the water at all times. We've just got the water turned on in the bathroom. It does, yeah, it doesn't matter because the, the heat that's the running through your apartments, yeah. those pipes will freeze. If they freeze, they will burst, and there will be water damage like you won't believe all yeah, over the place. But, but, but if we keep the water so, running, no, you can't just, do that. if we keep the water running, it's fine. It, they, they can't freeze if we it keep won't the water matter. running. It, it won't matter. You have It'll to turn the heat back on. Run the cold. You have to get the snow out of your apartment. But I've been, I put up like a couple. Okay. I, I put up a couple extra walls, uh, made out of snow. So it like divided up the apartment because we're doing like this theme. We're gonna rent out Airbnb apartments uh, for the next month, like like snow themed Airbnb apartments. Okay. Are, and are you living at Commons? Yeah. Yep. I'm a resident here. Okay. And okay. Um, so and, here's what you have to do. If I am here to tell you, if you turn off your heat and you open them windows, you're going to freeze the pipes. Those pipes are going to break. What's going to happen is once those pipes break, there's going to be water everywhere. It doesn't matter if the temperature outside is 20 degrees or 40 degrees. You're going to freeze those pipes. Those pipes are going to freeze. They're going to burst. The water damage will be charged back to you. What? You have to turn the heat on. You can't have snow in your apartment, and so, you can't have the windows open. So, Absolutely not, because so, 
you just can't. So if I just have a space... It's water-based. If I put a space heater underneath the sink in the kitchen, that, that should take care of it, right? No, it will oh. not because those are heat pipes running through your apartment. Yeah. Those but... heat pipes will freeze. You can't have the windows open during the winter. Well, you, you definitely can't put snow on, on and turn the heat off. You can't oh, do man. that. The pipes will freeze. Because I, I built and a... It could cost you two or three thousand dollars worth of damage. Yeah, but so could closing the windows because then the snow is going to melt, and there's like hundreds of gallons. You have of... to close the windows. You have to turn your heat back on. If you don't, and those pipes freeze or they burst, it's going to cost you two or three thousand dollars worth of damage. Well, not me. I don't have Plus that much. What happens if your pipes freeze? Everybody else's pipes freeze around you too. They can't get heat either. Yeah, but if so I you, if I if I turn the heat back on, the snow's all going to melt, and it's like hundreds of gallons of water it, all over the floor. It's going to go downstairs. Then you need you need to get that snow out of there, and you need to turn the heat back on, and you need to shut your windows. We were thinking about because um, if what if you don't, I am here to tell you that those pipes are going to freeze. Okay, but and what, if they freeze. They're not just going to freeze for your apartment. Those pipes are running through all the apartments in that building. You will freeze the pipes for everybody in that building. It's not just your apartment. It's not just about you. Nobody else should have to go without heat because you guys froze the pipes. Get the snow out of your apartment. You're going to soak those carpets. That's going to cause damage too. I know, but if so, I turn if I turn on the heat, the, the that's definitely going to soak up the carpets. I have to go buy like a wet dry vac and suck it all up. Okay, so what you're going to have to do that because you've got to turn that heat back on. I am here to tell you that those pipes will freeze, and if yeah. if twenty people have to go without heat because you want to do a snow theme inside your apartment, yeah. that's going to be bad. It's going to cost you thousands of dollars. What about the bedroom, though? Because in the bedroom, I didn't put snow on the... No. No, no, no. No, no there me. are heat okay. pipes running through the entire apartment. Oh, I don't Turn know the about... heat back on, get the snow out of there, and shut them windows, because but... if you don't, it's going to freeze. So I didn't You're put... going to pay two or $3,000 worth of damage. I didn't put snow down in the bedroom, though. I put ice down like an ice rink so we can actually ice skate in the bedroom in the bedroom right now okay so that's not happening no so what apartment are you in no i mean it already happened that's what we've done like we don't we don't have any furniture what, are, what apartment are you in um well don't yell at me i mean geez uh, i'm in two... i'm not gonna yell at you okay well no you kind of are you're, you're being grouchy uh i'm in to... I am being kind of grouchy because there are there are thirty, forty, fifty apartments that are going to be without heat. You don't know how many. I'm a little grouchy about that, and as I'm sure they're going to be. Yeah, but no, I'll let them come up and ice skate in my bedroom, and they'll think it's awesome. You, you know, well, you know, Carol. It's not going to be so awesome when not going to be so awesome when I have to evict you. Oh, you wouldn't do that. You know, Carol that lives next door. I let her come over, and we ice skated together. Yeah. Okay. So I you have did. the phone number that you just called in on. So if you don't want to tell me your apartment number, I was I'll know which apartment you're I was, in. I was trying to tell you. It's just you kept interrupting and being grouchy. I'm sorry. It's so okay. what apartment are you in? But like, like really, like it seems like I could just maybe we could insulate the walls better and keep the cold out of the walls where the pipes are, and then we could just keep the snow. Because I've got a snowman yeah, in here you and can't everything. Do that. We've got a snowman in the living room, next to the Christmas tree. Okay. Like an actual uh -huh. actual snowman. Okay. We do. I'm I'm just saying, like it, it, I, it was supposed to be like this all Christmas. I've got. Okay. A, well, it's not not going to be that way. We worked so hard on okay. this. Okay. Like so, bring it, we brought in so, so much snow. What apartment are you in? We brought in so many hundreds of pounds of snow, like and put all over the floors. All well, over the. Well, where hall. would you have gotten that snow from? From outside. Hmm. We also used a high and high pressure are, power washer and, and made our own snow. Just used freezing water. Okay, so what apartment are you in? We we literally had it snowing in our apartment with one of those pressure washer things. Have you ever seen YouTube videos okay. where they do that? What? I was getting ready to tell her my apartment number. <laughs> she hung up on me. So that's the last uh, apartment complex in that city. 
And I've been doing this over an hour. I think it's just time to quit. Man, I kind of wish, though, like, th- this should be a live show, this idea, because I'm not feeling very creative today. I don't know where to take this. I'm sure the chat room could give me all kinds of wacky ideas of things I could do with snow in my apartment, besides Airbnbs and snowmen and ice rinks in my bedroom that I stole from Trailer Park Boys. So that's something I need to do in the next couple of months. Do a live show of apartment calls where I put snow in my apartment for various reasons. I also still need to do a live show of nothing but Carrot Top visiting places. And somebody gave me the idea during my last live show, my Thanksgiving show, that I should call up stores as Santa Claus, you know, the mall Santa, and make ridiculous demands because I'm, you know, I'm fucking Santa. I deserve respect. But I had just started doing that Santa stuff near the end of my show, so I didn't get a lot of time to play around with that idea. We've got to do that again. Lots to do in December. Okay, let's listen to some voicemails. Hey, Brad, it's King Cobra. I hey, was uh, just Cobra. watching one of the, some old YouTube videos, and I found out that um, famous YouTuber Mark Dice is like a fan of your uh, of your material, which Whoa. is pretty hilarious. Yeah, uh, I guess. Who the fuck's Mark Dice? I guess I would say he's kind of like an Alex Jones, but oh. less crazy. Yeah, I suddenly don't uh, care. So, yep, you got that. So, oh wait, no, he has 1.3 million have, subscribers. Right. King Cobra? Oh what? So maybe I do care. Hey, Mark Dice, thanks for listening. I've got some hot conspiracy scoops if you're interested. They're totally real. They involve satellites and microwaves and stuff. And underground tunnels. Get in touch. You won't be disappointed. Hey, Brad, I have two important pieces of news to say. All right. First of all... Breaking news, everyone. A, like Friendsgiving thing with some people uh, with my... Your friends and stuff, and it, it became this party, and this guy came. Wow. And I was wearing my shirt that says, So Losers of America, established 1990, whatever, in 94, and with the, the Bell logo. Yeah. And this guy, like, recognized it. Like, no one that's never happened before. I've worn, I wear that shirt all the time. Holy I shit. I wear another shirt that says Cactus with the 7 Eleven Bell logo all the time. No one ever knows what it is. Like, always really weird looks. Yeah. And, like, my friend. Knows. That's what I like about the cactus shirt. Nobody knows what it is, but they want to know what the fuck does that mean. And they just get weird, random but, looks. Uh, by now, but, like, this guy just <clears throat> happened to know unsolicited, like, who you were. He said cactus to me. Oh. Asked, asked me about, like, a Did you guys have sex? And stuff, and it was, like, great. I felt, like, vindicated for wearing your, like, your dumb shirts all these That's years. great. Anyway, so, so you heard it here, everyone. Go to phonelosers.spreadshirt.com. There's a brand new ugly Christmas sweater design from Buster Casey in there that I highly recommend. But there's lots of classic designs, too. Cool. Number two piece of news is that I was listening. Breaking news, everyone. Oh, wait. No, I can't even hear him. Crap. What a bad idea that was. Number two piece of news is that I was listening to this like weird... This is a long voicemail. Called Bone Cage, or what this guy called Bone Cage. Yeah. And like you were in heard one of the songs. Heard of him. Uh, and it was like really good. You were like really creepy in one of the songs. And I, I guess you know about yep. this because. Bone Cage needed a creepy voice for one of his songs, and I was the first person he contacted. Well, I guess you probably uh, like were, were part of it. Like you're part of producing it. But anyway, yeah, you sound really creepy. It was really crazy. Like, are you actually like a serial killer or something? Thanks. Yeah, you're, you're very, I cannot very, confirm nor deny that I am a serial killer. I'm currently on probation, so I can't say anything. Good actor for the ending of that song. I forgot which one it was. Thanks. Anyway, just signing out from Tempe, Arizona. Cactus, cactus. All right, bye. Thanks for the incredibly long voicemail. So yesterday I found out about this guy called uh, Jack Dyer. Um, yeah. And I think he makes party games. Like, you know, those teenager party games. And What? He has a podcast where he leaves this number in random places and then you like call, leave a voicemail, say whatever you want. And it's pretty interesting. People mm. leave stories and stuff. Hmm. And Jack Dyer. I I just called some time ago. I'm looking it up. And this voicemail is getting long and I don't know what to say. Yeah. But yeah. Not as long as the last guy. And oh yeah, that's that's where it ends. All right. Jack Dyer. Is it called The Pointless Podcast? Probably not. I don't know. I can't find it. I'm sure it's awesome. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Gordon Bombay. 
Hey. Um, three things. First of all, <sighs> Carol, what you doing? What you thinking about? Dude, Ouch. I could listen to that every day. <laughs> Fuck Dingtember. Do what you do in December. Okay. <laughs> Carol. What you do in December. That's a new thing. Doing those calls. Um, I'm dying. i laughing. And then other two things. Let's see. One is the dot matrix printer sound effects. Brought it back. Very nice. Yeah. And the, uh, the mall calls. They're great. Anyways, keep up the good work. Yeah, Bye. I love the mall calls. We're definitely going to be doing some more mall calls this month. And somebody in the Facebook group, they had a really great idea for a dot matrix prank. Let's see if I can scroll through here and find it. Here it is from Keith Rangel, Jr. Brad, can you call a bunch of gas stations as Carol from the corporate office? Have a conversation and every few seconds keep playing the typing and printing sound effects. Like, hold on, I got to type this. All right, now let's print it and gradually speed up the frequency of typing and printing as the conversation continues. I'm going to copy and paste that into my notebook right now. Thank you for that, Keith. I will definitely do that soon. That sounds like fun. Pretty much exactly what I was doing in my Pranksgiving time slot, but just do it constantly, faster and faster. Make it so he only gets out like two or three words before I type them in and print it out and put the printout in the file cabinet. I need to make a file cabinet opening and closing sound effect, right? You're like, hold on, let me pull out your file again. Brad, you should do more shows with Clay, a.k.a. Mr. Biggs. Okay. I just listened to the most recent Phone Losers episode, and he's a phenomenal co-host. Yeah, he's fun. Uh, he's really did you listen to the entire five hours? Did I mention this on the previous show? I think I did, or maybe I forgot. I don't know. But I did a five-hour-long call-in show with Mr. Biggs. I think I got it edited down to about four and a half hours, maybe. And that was fun. I've been meaning to do more of the PLA show things with people. He's really funny. Random people. Uh, and there's just something about him that just makes me smile every time he talks. Oh, it's because he's so uh, lovable. I love the Mr. Biggs character. And I actually thought when you two teamed up to do pranks, that that was some of the best pranks I've ever heard. Yeah. And... He is okay. isn't as bad as he thinks he is. I think you two have great chemistry and rapport together, and okay. he definitely needs to do more prank calls with you. He's a, he's a tremendous talent, and you should tell him that. I'm blushing that. for you, Mr. Bye. Biggs. Yeah, me and him were actually going to do a show last night, another call-in show. Definitely not a five-hour long call-in show. We're going to be better about keeping it more like an hour, but I want to do more of those in general. I want to get some more people on, and I need to do more of those chair shows where I just sit in my chair and answer the payphone. That's always fun. I don't know why I don't do more of this stuff. It's not like I have anything better to do. Hey, long time listener, first time caller. Okay. And I am a deadbeat. I have not joined the PLA Patreon yet or Texas or anything like that. Damn it. Hi. What the fuck? Could just be, recently could be in a dick. listened to my first live show. I've uh, been listening since about 20, early 2017, mm -hmm. um, and I heard you and Clay talking, and that was pretty cool. You know, no. I should be saving these voicemails and play it on the PLA show. I need to make another voicemail line, because I don't have enough of those yet. It was on Facebook, I think I heard some of. Yeah. And again, I listened on Frank Skidding. It was great. I listened to the Super Phone Bro and Dwight. And you, and I even went back and listened to some of the show reel because Roy told me to, and I would do pretty much anything Roy tells me to do. Yeah, I bet you by now Carlito has his show up on MadhouseLive.com, his four or five hours or whatever he did for Pranksgiving. It's probably up by now, maybe. I don't know, that's a lot to edit, so maybe not. I haven't checked. But he's been doing pretty good about keeping his shows updated lately, so hopefully you've got another four or five hours to listen to. I also have a souvenir I'd like to send to you, and that'll probably be on its way here shortly. Okay, um, I can't wait. Mr. Tuck Pendleton. I guess Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. I don't tell him I called him. Mr. Thanks for all you do. What? I think you're the best on the interwebs. Aw, thanks. His voice cut out a few times. Uh, I don't think I heard who that was, but I'm kind of thinking maybe that's the guy that made the song that I played in the last episode, where he called him Lieutenant Johnny Pemberton or something. Hey, Brad, I just wanted to let you know some Tetris tips. No. You guys set up a T-slot. A T-shot should be exactly the same size as a D-block. Yeah. I don't know what this means. Um, yeah, we're just we're guessing here. Ah, it's a conference. D-block's got to fall. We don't need this. 
What are you guys doing? Yeah, basically... Like, this is three minutes long. That means they ramble for three minutes, and then the voicemail automatically cuts them off. You know, just, just make sure that you get all that... Uh, Let's listen all that to all of it. You know, you're playing Tetris during our last show, so yeah, it's very important to you. And then the corporate Tetris machine is important, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, bye now. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. Yeah. You've reached your 30-second limit. Oh, look. They left more voicemails for me. That's great. Oh, wow. Another one saying the exact same thing. All right. Here is the last voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Probit. Hey. I was just Pro-Bit. watching Snowpower Show, you know this one, and I thought, you know what you've never done for a while? What? Calling for the mayor, you know, being his secretary. It's been, it's been months. Since you had done that, and I, I need to make Carol the secretary. They were pretty funny. She'd be a better secretary. You need secretary. to call up people again and say you're the mayor's secretary, and you want, and the mayor just does not like them. Yeah, you know, it it has pretty fun reactions sometimes. That's what I got to do. Just a thought, you know, as okay. a fan. So I'll do it. Love you so much. Bye. Okay, that, that was weird. Thanks, and I agree. I definitely have to do more of those. I think that's another one of those pranks that people yell at me about. They're like, what the hell, Brad? It's not even funny. You're just doing the same thing over and over. And I need to do more of those pranks where I say I'm the mayor and we're going to have a a banquet in your yard or something. Like the press is going to be in your backyard. We're going to set up catering tables. I'm going to give a speech. People sure didn't like that. I got to do that again, too. Or what else did I say? Like the mayor wants to borrow your car. That should be a live show. I should do the mayor calls on a live show. And everyone can give me different ridiculous demands for the mayors to make. What a great idea. I need to do more live shows. Hey, remember a while back I said that you guys should uh, get on iTunes and leave ratings and reviews for the Snowplow Show, preferably high ratings, and I would read them. I'm looking right now to see if there's new ones. I don't think there is. Maybe I should have checked this before I mentioned this at all. Most recent. Oh yeah, here's one. October 2nd, Brad Carter, who probably didn't kill John Bonet Ramsey, is a great host and has taught me lots about life, gardening, love, and snow removal. That's from Pedro Papi. And then there's one from King Richard. We've seen that one. Who cares about that one? Whatever, King Richard. Uh, that was for the Snowplow Show podcast. We've also got this here for the uh, the Phone Losers of America feed. There's a couple new ones on here. Skinny Bill says, I love it. Yes, it is quirky, but once you get used to it, you realize the genius behind it. Thanks, Skinny Bill. And another one from this month. Come for the laughter. Stay for the cactus. From One Almond. Roy, Gerbel, and Carol are some of the funniest podcasters out there. Originally, I only listened to the prank calls, but even the viewer voicemails are amusing now. This show makes getting stuck in traffic a fun experience. And just those two. What the hell? Come on, people. Get get on iTunes. Download iTunes. Don't you want iTunes on your computer? It only eats up all your processor and tries to update itself every other day. Why wouldn't you want that? And isn't there a place for Google Podcasts, like ratings and reviews? I don't even know where to find it. Like, I'm looking on the Play Store. I don't see it there. Is it Google Podcasts? Is it Android Podcasts? How does the internet work? You guys, if anyone has the link to that, I would probably read reviews from that one, too. But since I can't, I guess that's the end of today's show. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thank you, Lion9, Thunor, Cody No Name, Todd L., and Buster Casey for sponsoring this episode and for supporting the PLA. And if you'd like to support the PLA, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. If you hate Patreon, there's still the phone losers.org slash cactus thing, even though I'm trying to make everyone stop using that. But there's always a few people hanging on to it, so I may as well let other people go on to it, right? I guess I give up trying to move people over. All I know is you get more stuff on the Patreon than you do on the website. So you'd be crazy not to support us there. You get an extra show every single week and a giant archive of shows. And it's broken less often. My website's always broken. Let's end the show with some Bone Cage today. Here's that song where the guy, the voicemail person, says I sound like a serial killer. Hey Sue, I'm Charlie. I couldn't help but see you sitting here alone. How dare you? How dare you? You, how Bubble. dare you? How 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 dare you?